With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss one question on similarity of triangles. Here in this question we are given a triangle PQR such that we are given that LM is parallel to the side QR and we are given the ratio of the side PM to the side MR as 3 is to 4. Now from this data we need to evaluate this ratio that is area of the triangle LMN to the area of the triangle MNR. So first of all let us focus on the diagram that what is given to us in the question. So here in this question we are given that this LM is parallel to this QR as shown in this figure. Also we are given that PM upon MR is 3 is to 4. So this side is proportional to 3 and this side is proportional to 4. So first of all we find the ratio PM upon PR. So we find PM upon PR and how can we find that? We can rewrite this as PM upon and PR can be written like PM plus MR from this diagram. So we have PM plus MR. Now we divide by MR in both numerator and denominator and we get PM by MR whole divided by PM by MR plus 1. Now in the question we are given the value of PM upon MR as 3 is to 4. So here we substitute that value as 3 upon 4 whole divided by 3 upon 4 plus 1. So we get 3 by 7 on solving this. So we get the value of PM upon PR as 3 upon 7. Let us name this equation as equation 1. Now let us consider the triangles PLM and PQR. So in triangle PLM and in triangle PQR we can see that this angle that is LPM is common. So we can say that the angle LPM is common. Also we can see that this angle will be equal to this angle. Why? Because we are given that LM is parallel to QR. So we can say that the angle PLM angle PLM is equal to the angle PQR. Why? Because we are given that LM is parallel to QR in the question. Now by using these two conclusions we can say that by using the angle angle AA criteria of similarity we can say that the triangle PLM is similar to the triangle PQR. So we have proved that these two triangles are similar. Now since these two triangles are similar, so we can say that their corresponding sides will also be in the same ratio. So we can say that the PM upon PR would be equals to LM upon QR. Now we know the value of PM upon PR as we have evaluated here in this equation 1. So the value of PM upon PR is 3 by 7. So here we substitute it and we get the value of LM upon QR as 3 by 7. So we have got LM upon QR as 3 by 7. Now we consider the two triangles. We consider the triangle LNM and RNQ. So in triangle LNM and in triangle RNQ we can conclude that this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So we can say that the angle LNM is equal to the angle RNQ. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. And we can also say that this angle would be equal to this angle. Why? Because we are given LM is parallel to QR. So we can say that angle MLN, angle MLN would be equal to this angle QRN, angle QRN. Why? Because we are given LM is parallel to QR. Now by using these two conditions, we can conclude that by using the angle-angle criteria of similarity, we can say that the triangle LN 
M is similar to the triangle R and Q. So we have proved that these two triangles are similar. Now since we have proved that these two triangles are similar, so we can conclude that their corresponding sides will be in the same proportion. So we can say that since these two triangles are similar, we can say that ln upon Rn, ln upon Rn would be equals to Lm upon Qr. Now we have already computed the value of Lm upon Qr here. Let us say this is equation 2. So from this Lm upon Qr is 3 by 7. Now from this equality we have known the value of Ln upon Rn. So we have concluded that Ln upon Rn is also 3 by 7. Let us name this result as result 3. Now in the question we are asked to find the ratio of the areas of the triangle LMN to the area of the triangle MNR. So first of all let us find their ratio. So we need to find the ratio of LMN upon MNR. So here we find the ratio of the triangle LMN to the triangle MNR. MNR. Now if we consider the triangle LMN, then in triangle LMN the area would be half into base into height. So here we can consider the side MN, this side MN as the base of this triangle LMN. So we write its area as half into base. Base is Mn into height. So let us draw the height of this triangle Lmn. So the height of this triangle would look something like this. This is the height. We draw the perpendicular from the L to this Mn side. And we have got this as height. So this is the height. And let us say this height is of length x. So we have the area of the triangle Lmn as half into base. Base is Mn into height. Height is x. Whole divided by the area of the triangle MnR. So similarly we calculate the area of the triangle MnR as half into base. So MnR also has the same base that is Mn into height. So let us compute the height of this triangle MnR. So if we draw the height. So for that we draw up a perpendicular from R to Mn like this. So let us say this is the perpendicular. So we have drawn this perpendicular and let us say the height of this perpendicular is Y. So we have got the area of triangle MnR as half into base. Base is Mn into height. Height is Y. Now from this ratio we can see that half and half gets cancelled out. Mn and Mn gets cancelled out. And we get the ratio as x upon y. That is this x upon this y. Now we need to find the value of this x upon y. So for this we again consider the triangles n. Let us say this point is a and this point is b. So now we consider the triangles n, a, l. So in triangle n triangle NAL and in triangle NBR. We can conclude that this angle that is LAN is 90 degrees. So angle LAN is equal to this angle that is RBN. Both of these angles are 90 degrees. And we can also say that this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So we can say that ANL angle ANL is equal to the angle BNR. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So now by using these two conditions we can conclude that by using the angle angle similarity criteria we can say that triangle NAL is also similar to the triangle NBR. Now since these two triangles are similar 
so their corresponding sides uh, would be in the same proportion uh. so we can conclude that uh, n l upon n r would be equals to a l upon b r so now by using this figure we can say that a l upon this b r is equals to x upon y so we write a l upon b r as x upon y so here we have x upon y on the place of a l upon b r and here we have computed the value of l n upon n r as 3 by 7 so we have got the value of a l upon b r that is x upon y as l n upon n r that is 3 by 7 so we have got the value of x upon y as 3 by 7 so the ratio of the area of the triangles that is l m n to the area of the triangle m n r is x upon y that is 3 by 7 that we have computed here so this is equal to 3 by 7 so this ratio which we were required to find in the question is 3 by 7 and this is our solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today